Hello! It's been some time since the lassoing update, and I've been procrastinating on this project for a while, picking it up every other week. So the next thing in the 1890s outfit is a shirtwaist because I want more practice before even attempting making a corset. Plus, you can wear a shirtwaist on its own. I'm using the truly Victorian patterns to learn how to make stuff first before diving in with pattern grading and figuring things out for myself. I got some books months ago for research and patterns I can use for future projects. So after putting the pattern together, I tried to customize it but I don't know about the level of trust I have measuring myself. But after three mock-ups, we are just gonna have to wing it. This is the mess of productivity. Before anything, I'm gonna start with the gathering thread for all the different panels. Starting with the front panels, I attach the yoke to the bottom half. I'm using a solid color to see the gathering clearly and to show off the yoke. The facings were confusing because I don't know how they're supposed to look. So I cheated and looked at button ups I had and tried to copy that. The left facing was kind of bulky, so I graded the seam allowances before finishing it with top stitching. Next was the collar, which took a whole day because the first one was too small and I didn't think I had to measure it. And before attaching the collar stands, we're gonna press it by half an inch. Then pinning it together to the collar to make sure it fits. Then I sew down the collar to the collar stand by half an inch. I know it looks a bit warped, but I pinned it evenly so it doesn't when I turn it out. For some reason, this was the most satisfying part though, to sew in the collar and actually have it fit. The inside was finished with a slip stitch, so it was clean AF! The whole peplum is optional, but if you give the option, I will do it! Then it was time to attach the sleeves. I wasn't sure how to finish the inside, so I guess I can use cotton tape and instead of a net for the sleeve puff, I use some cotton lawn. not looking good. Let's see the outside. Ah! Oh! It turned out well. Look at that! But when you see the inside... Now I'm gonna do my best to hide it under a layer of cotton tape. My machine did not like sewing that many layers together, but I did it anyway. It took me longer than it should have to finally just start learning how to make buttonholes using a sewing machine but i didn't want to make it by hand and i didn't have a thick enough thread for it this took longer when i decided to make the second version of it this time in stripes and no fitting because i want to see how it was supposed to look but here's how they turned out not too bad the entire project took longer than expected because i thought foolishly oh it's a smaller garment. It shouldn't take long. Then sizing happened, confusion, putting it down, picking it up, and I didn't want to do buttonholes for the longest time. So that was definitely long-winded. But now, I know how to make shirtwaist, kinda. There's actually a lot of projects I have planned for October leading up to Halloween. The next projects are the giant ripple skirt, and then I might attempt, might attempt, making a corset. However difficult the actual project was, it's still a nice project to be one of the first ones I make. So if you ever want to try it out for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description for the pattern I used. The instructions were simple enough and kind of beginner friendly. But for now, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, and I will see you next time.